we probably got in a box or a box and a half of apples scattered around, but not enough to have people come show up. Tonight, there is a big cloud hanging over Julian's biggest festival of the year, Apple Days. Mm, that was sad to hear, and the celebration is this weekend, but the crop has been devastated. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco joins us now with a combination of factors that forced some orchards to close. It is a fall tradition for so many families coming up to one of these orchards and picking apples. But this year, this orchard and others are closed because there are simply no apples to pick. Les Turner is reminded of the drought with every step he takes. Normally this time of year, his orchard is packed with people picking apples. Instead, all but three of his 500 trees are bare. There's probably a box left. Uh, last year we had 1,200 boxes. Turner says the drought, a warm winter, and a two-day freeze in April wiped out much of the harvest in this area. Our neighbor right over here hasn't opened, and he doesn't have any apples. His neighbor, Calico Ranch, is the biggest orchard here. If you call, you'll get this recorded message. We were hit really hard by the drought, so unfortunately there is no crop to speak of this year. No crop means no income, another tough reality of farming. There are still a couple of orchards open, but some of them are by appointment only. Reporting in Winola near Julian, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.